All right, people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are going to be talking about Chicken Race. This card is controversial and it is just up there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about it, give my opinion about it, and uh, talk about that uh, that Chicken Race FTK. So this is Chicken Race. It is a filled spell. Simple as that. It reads, player with less life points takes no damage. Once returned during either player's main phase, the turn player can pay 1,000 life points and activate one of the following effects. Draw one card, destroy this card, if one gains 1,000 life points. Card and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. So, uh, not taking the, the FTK into consideration, this card is simply a new age searchable upstart goblin. You know, instead of play upstart goblin, give your opponent 1,000 life points, draw a card, instead it's Put Chicken Race, which is a filth spell, which can be searched by terraforming and a lot of other handful of cards. You pay a thousand life points, so instead of giving your opponent a thousand life points, you pay a thousand life points and you draw a card. And that's pretty much the best that you're going to get out of it because on your opponent's turn, they can just pay a thousand life points, activate one of the following effects. So they can also draw a card, but it might be wiser for them to go ahead and just pay the thousand to destroy this card. Uh, of course, fill spells are inherently a neg on activation, so you activate it, you neg, but then you uh, pay the thousand life points to draw a card to use her out, just like Upstart Goblin. So, essentially, this card is Upstart Goblin. This is a new Upstart Goblin that's more searchable, and it's a field spell. Simple as that. Now, when you put it in the hands of the whole FTK, where you're activating, you know, uh, you know, terraforming and the pseudo space, and then the chicken race, and you draw a card, and the upstart, and you pretty much get your life points so separate from your opponent. You have pretty much two trap cards, three monsters being real magical every a butt ton of spells, and you just keep on playing, playing, activating spells, recycling your hand, drawing, uh, bamboo sorting it up. Uh, you pretty much get your two trap cards, which are uh, what life equalizer, magical explosion. You know, draw a whole bunch, get your opponent's life points, uh, big enough difference to life equalizer, your opponent's draw phase, activate the life equalizer, you both go to 3000, and bam, go ahead and hit him with that magical explosion, GG, you, you hit big something no. Uh, right now, I'd probably say it's the most consistent, uh, Saki deck right now, I think it has, like, a success rate about 85%, and I can clearly see why, I mean... And there's a ton of debate on, you know, what cards should be hit, you know. Some people are saying, you know, well, you know, Magical Explosion's already at one, so why don't we ban it? Well, you know, if we hit Magical Explosion, if we ban Magical Explosion, you could just use Blast in the Ruins. If you don't know what that card does, I think it's if you have 30 or more cards in your game, you can select 3,000 damage to your opponent, and that card's at three. So, there you go. And in this deck, if you haven't seen the Chicken Red State FTK, you will have uh, 30 cards in your game drive by the end of your turn. You know, you just go first and... You can just sack the hell out of your opponent by just recycling bamboo sword and golden bamboo sword and drawing and magical stone excavation and uh, reload and magical mallet and you keep putting your hand back and shuffling and then the terraformings with the chicken race with the pseudo space with the upstart goblins and the yeah you, you see there's you see there's a lot of the that this deck does right one of the major plays that it does is that it equips a monster with uh, that shadow bamboo sword and then plays a uh, golden bamboo sword and draws it up yeah. Flip it to a monster. This deck only runs one monster. And this particular monster should definitely be banned. Like, at this point, this 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 this, this card, this particular card, that's called Wasting the Tribal, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Royal Magical Library, you know? Like, what, it, it, it's a fucking, what, Spellcaster, level 4, 2,000 defense, 0 attack, and, like, what, what, why, why should it be gone? This card should be gone because you're building up resources and you're drawing cards unnecessarily by doing plays that you should already be doing. Um, clearly in cards like Exodia and uh, Chicken Race and uh, Ignite, it's been a uh, pretty big problem as of late. And just being able to go ahead and activate three spell cards and then just draw off of that when you were going to activate those spell cards anyway is uh, just uh, fuel to the fire when it comes to that card. Um, this card has always been kind of unhealthy in the game. And I think that as of now, since, you know, especially with Ignite's getting the attention that they've been doing with the card, and especially with this Chicken Race FTK, uh, yeah, I could definitely see uh, Royal Magical Library being banned. It's not like Konami's making any money off of it, and it's not like they're going to reprint it or anything like that. It, doesn't really, it does nothing but harm the game. Uh, 
it's not even a relevant card, and it's a card of the past, you know? But it wouldn't be the first time that Konami goes ahead and hits a card of the past, uh, i.e. being a Super Rejuvenation, as long as it's relevant at the time. If, it, if it's good enough to draw enough attention, then clearly uh, it deserves to be hit, and uh, it just happened to be that Chicken Race and this FTK just brought the attention when you could pointing fingers at what card of the deck. Uh, definitely wrote a magical library is one to poke at, put, uh, po point your finger at, and like I said, it's done things in the past. So um, I'm not saying for the TCG, but I would like I said for the next OCG list, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just Royal Magical Library Bam. It's really only need one, especially in the Chicken Race OCG FTK. Uh, you know, really only need one because you just play the Royal Magical Library. You're gonna be you know shuffling your hand, drawing your hand, you know, upstarting, chicken racing, pseudo spacing. Uh, reloading magic knowledge. So you're gonna pot to do all of the you're gonna be getting one of the many uh, uh run magic library. So even if you just you know cut it down to like one and lower the consistency that I can so uh just hand shuffling putting cards back reshuffling and you know and if you go ahead and what cut it down to two then what they, they could just go all right well you took out uh, uh you took out my royal magic library you cut it down to one okay well I'm t tossing two summoner monk I, I, that deck has, has fucking spells to spare, so. Summon a monk pitch, summon the world match, clever, go to town, so. It's, it's simple as that, so. It can't go to one. It's, it simply just has to be banned, because you only need one. You only need one, so. Uh, I can definitely see that card being banned. Uh, Chicken Race is a fine card. Uh, I was actually talking to Slade about it, and I didn't realize that, you know, in a sense, it is upstart goblin. You know, it's just, instead of giving your opponent a thousand, a thousand life points, you just take a thousand, and then your opponent. If they're wise, we just go ahead and pay the thousand life points to go ahead and just destroy this card and not keep it on the field because keeping it on the field is just giving you, giving both you and your opponent unnecessary draws. Now it's nice when your opponent because they would just go ahead and plus because they didn't activate the chicken race, they still have their resources. They didn't neg, so if they pay the thousand life points and draw a card, that's fine. But then you get to pay a thousand life points and draw a card, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth. I mean, I guess it's just the kind of game that you and your opponent want to play. Whoever has left pipe points takes no damage at all. So, uh, I guess you're trying to play like a juggling trick with it. But, you know, if, I, if my opponent plays chick, Chicken Race and do that hard, I might turn out just pay a thousand life points and just destroy it. Like, no. I don't need you, you know, drawing a card every single turn just because you paid that thousand life points. You know, especially at the start of the deal, especially because you just paid that thousand life points that you don't take any damage from me. Like, no, I'll just destroy the card. So. Uh, like I said, in a sense, it's Upstart Garden. It's a fairly good card. It's searchable through terraforming. You can copy with pseudo space. You can throw the chicken race at FTK. But uh, like I said, if any card should be hit, it should be a Royal Magical Library. So I'm going to go ahead and call that for an episode of Card Review. So tell me what you guys think about Chicken Race. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.